Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm starting to do this video because originally the video was going to be titled something completely different. And it's kind of almost with a heavy heart that I have to to go into this because Jesse J and I have been trying to to stream and do videos for you know a couple of weeks now through 318 and we just we're just unable to get anything done. Um elevators not working we spent almost an hour and a half this morning trying to get into the xeno thread event not happening and before anybody goes into it or in the comments i we have you know higher end rigs i mean she's running a 3070 and playing in 1080 we both have 32 gigs of ram top end Ryzen processors. I think I'm running a 5800X and she's running like a 5600X. Anyways, the rigs aren't the issue because we play everything else flawlessly and the benchmarking is good. Stress testing is good. It's the game. 318 is in extremely poor shape. It's, I bear to say it's almost unplayable for us. You know, I'm seeing these gameplay videos and I'm seeing people crash a lot. Then I'm seeing your higher end content creators and stuff. I don't know how long those guys are playing to be able to get that footage, but they are spending hours upon hours on it. And we just don't have that kind of time, you know, like, you know, we both have full time jobs and, you know, we're trying to make some good, good content and stuff for, for everybody to enjoy and for us to enjoy as well. And man, this footage that you're seeing, you know, it's, I mean, it's, it's sad. I, it takes the, all of the immersion out of this beautiful, wonderful game that they're trying to do. And I just, I mean, you'd never be able to sit me down and understand why they take this approach to it. The AI walking in place, I, you know, the AI is broken. So why don't you, instead of just trying to make them move around, why not just put them, you know, to the side and let them do little things, stand there and do some movements or something, you know, instead of having them walking in the middle of the floor doing the freaking Michael Jackson shuffle. It, it's just, I mean, it just, you know, you walk into this beautiful room and you're, this AI is just standing there running in place. It immersion breaking. Right. And then you sit there and you spend an hour getting from say Lorville to Everest Harbor. You get to Everest Harbor, you go down to the cargo to get some, you know, items or whatever, for whatever mission you're going to do, go to click the elevator. No elevator comes. We, that is the exact thing that happened to us this morning. Just, you know, 30 minutes just blown. And then you just have to backspace and guess where you end up? Back on Lorville because you couldn't respawn your guy there. You couldn't reset your regeneration there. It's just getting really bad. And the original video I was going to make was to talk about why you should play 318 because of all the cool features. If you could get to them, right? Like you can't, you just can't get to them like... The second patch, one of the videos I made, I think, earlier was the salvage from the Vulture. And you got, I got good gameplay. It was actually pretty smooth. Ever since that update, it's just been straight downhill for us. And I am I really, I don't even understand how everybody else is even getting into the game. Maybe they're just server hopping. I assume that's the issue, right? Just server hop, server hop, server hop until you get into one that actually works. Well, like I said, we don't have the time to do that. I'm not going to sit here for three hours to play a game for 30 minutes just to have it 30k it's just getting insane so with that said if star citizen was to completely end today what would you guys play would you guys play no man's sky elite dangerous space engineer star trek on live eve online you're gonna wait for starfield what, what would you play I mean, maybe not a space game. I love the sci-fi space game stuff. And, you know, that's what this channel is about. And that's what I enjoy the most. I'm leaning heavily towards No Man's Sky. And the reason why is it is it works flawlessly. It's smooth. It's an extremely smooth game. Um, everything works. Well, we'll call 95% of it works, right? 95% of the game is just perfect. Um, I've had no issues. I've never had crashing like there is in any other game. Um, Space Engineers was second on my list, but it's it's very technical, and I, I feel like the gameplay is like not as exciting. I think I feel like you get bursts of real good gameplay, and the rest is more prepping for it or getting ready for it. 
So I'm not sure that's the type of game that I want to go for, especially if I'm trying to do something with this channel. But yeah, can you guys leave me some comments? I'd love to see what games you're playing. There's a lot of games out there. Like I, I ran across a game called Avorian. Um, then there's an Infinity Battlescape. It's not really a, a great multiplayer, but you know, just shit battles. But um, check out Avorian. Let me know what you guys think about that. It's it's kind of an interesting game. And there's a couple of other games out there, like uh, I'm trying to think off the top of my head what type of what other game we were looking at playing. Oh, Dual Universe. What do you think about Dual Universe? Is there is that is that uh, is that a good one? I'm t I'm told it's uh, subscription based, and I don't do subscription based games at all. Um, I'm never gonna do them. Uh, I think it's silly. Um, but yeah, please let me know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, that's really the end of this video. I I just wanted to put this out there to tell you guys what the state of three eighteen is in. It, it's it is bad. It is it's the worst I've seen this game in like two and a half years um so if you're thinking about trying to jump in wait a little while wait and see if they work out the bugs because if they open the ptu up next week and it's in the same state it, it's just I, I don't know i don't know what they're doing i guess they're low on money they're low on funds right maybe they need to sell more ships they got to release 318 to get that money flowing to have a reason to you know unlock more ships and stuff like that instead of just trying to run events but yeah, I wish there was an option to leave 317 up for a while because as, as, as cool as the new features are, it just isn't going to work. But guys, thanks for watching the channels. Thanks for watching the videos. And I will see you guys on the next one.